This is the all new Sun Founders 10.1 inches touchscreen display. If you have ever dreamed of building your own smart dashboard, retro gaming console or sleek touch control panel, this display is the perfect place to start. And it's not for just Raspberry Pi, it sports multiple single board computers, all of which can be easily mounted on the back for a clean setup. Inside the box we got a display itself, a 12 volt 5 amp power adapter, a touchscreen cable and other assembly wires and screws. That's all the items we got in the package, now let's talk about the display. This is a 10.1 inches IPS touchscreen display, it's got a responsive 10 point touch, so swapping or tapping feels super smooth. It's plug and play with HDMI and USB, works with Raspberry Pi, Jetson Nano, Latte Panda and even your laptop. You can mount your board right on the back for a clean compact build, no messy wires. Plus it comes with stereo speakers and sport multiple OS like Raspbian, Ubuntu, Windows and Android. And the best part, no driver needed for the most systems. I'm pairing it up with the Raspberry Pi 4 with Android to see how it works. The assembly is super simple, just follow the steps. Alright, so we are all set up and ready to go. It doesn't come with a back panel or full enclosure out of the box, but they do have a 3D printed case which you can print and use. Anyway, let's power it up and see how it works. I'm running our Amteria Android OS. As you can see, the touchscreen working seamlessly with this OS. No complicated setup, no manual driver installation or coding, just plug it in and boom. It's super smooth and responsive. Talking about the display, the colors are bright and vibrant with the great contrast and viewing angles. There's so much you can build with this display. Personally, I'm excited to turn into a custom deck board, a smart dashboard that shows the weather, time, date, calendar, news, and even your daily planner. But before we get into all that, let's start with something simple, a basic vertical stand to hold the display upright. Alright, here's it, just need two screws to mount and you're good to go. This looks pretty awesome. We are going to set it up like this. Now let's buy it up on and get Deckbot running. To begin with, you will need Raspbian OS installed, I have already flashed the latest version. The first thing we need to do is to rotate the display to the vertical mode. Don't worry, it's super simple, just click on the start menu, go to the display configuration, then right click on the screen icon, choose orientation and set it to left. Your display is now perfectly set up in portrait mode, ready for Deckboard. Now open the Chromium browser and head over to the Deckboard.com. If you don't already have an account, go ahead and create one. It's quick and easy, since I already have an account so I'll just log in. Once you're in, you will see a pre-built screen available. Click on my predefined screen, then tap on the menu icon and choose view screen. That's it, your deckboard is live. I have added a calendar and a few other widgets which you can customize too by exploring the screen options. But we are not done yet, let's create a shortcut to launch this dashboard in full screen with a single click. Copy the URL of your screen and minimize the browser. Now open the terminal and follow along with these simple commands. Hyphen nano, I don't know what we call it, slash dashboard.sh. Then hit enter, then a new window will appear. Now type these two lines exactly as shown. In the second line, make sure to replace the link with your own dashboard private URL, the one we copied earlier from the browser. Once done, press Ctrl X, then Y and hit enter to save and close it. Back to the terminal, type chmod plus x unknown icon slash dashboard.sh and hit enter again. That's it. Close the terminal, go to the files, find the dashboard.sh file, click on it and choose execute. As you can see, our dashboard is running flawlessly in full screen mode. You can even set it to launch automatically at boot, though I won't be covering that in this video. The best part, since you are using a touchscreen, you can easily operate it without needing to connect a mouse or keyboard. Dashboard turns your screen into beautiful smart display with time, weather, calendar and more. 
That's it for this video guys. If you're building or planning any project with a touchscreen display, I highly recommend checking out this one from the Sun Founder. You will find the links in the description. If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more creative builds. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in another one. Until then, take care and bye bye.